Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. My name is QP and thank you so much for joining me in this video. Okay, so if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I have an entire series for the Dyson Airwrap. This is actually one of my favorite tools. In that series, I went over pretty much everything that you need to know about the Dyson Airwrap. Um, I made videos for each attachment, um, showing you how to use them, and showing you what type of styles that they can achieve. And that was also when I had my long hair. And in October, I decided to chop off about 12 inches of my hair to donate. That was one of the things I really wanted to do. And since then, I've honestly haven't styled my hair using the Dyson Airwrap. I know that when I did the Dyson Airwrap originally, I did have a little bit of trouble styling with long hair because the barrel was, in my opinion, a little bit short for longer, also thicker hair. So I figured now that I have shorter hair, I would do another video just to kind of see how the Dyson Airwrap is with shorter hair instead of with long hair and let you guys know uh, my thoughts and opinions on that. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be using the 1.2 inch curling barrel. As I mentioned before, I haven't styled my hair using Dyson Airwrap, so I really don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's gonna look good, so bear with me here. I'm hoping it will turn out cute though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And in this video also, I'm going to be using the beach waves technique instead of just the regular Coanda effect. And that way it's going to give me looser curls um, that aren't so like defined. I'm not going to cover too much information on the Dyson Airwrap in this video just because I have so many videos on it in the past. So if you want more information regarding the Dyson Airwrap, be sure to check out the entire series. Um, I answer pretty much any question you might have with the Dyson Airwrap in that series. Okay, so anyway, without any any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just curl my hair and see what results I get. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just section out my hair. And I will say, it is so much easier to section hair when I don't have that much hair now. <laughs> okay, I just wanna make sure that I have this going the right way. So with the Dyson Airwrap, the air flows in one direction. So I'm gonna kinda test out to see which way it is. It's kinda confusing because when you look at the Dyson Airwrap, it kind of, I don't know, it's just confusing. So I'm gonna just test this out. It's been a while since I've used this. Okay, there is the first strand. Also, for any of you who haven't watched my Dyson Airwrap videos in the past, I just want to cover this real quick um, so you don't have to watch another video. But pretty much the buttons on the Dyson Airwrap is this is the fan speed, this is the temperature control, and then this one right here is the on off and then the cool shots. This one is really important because you only want to apply heat onto your hair for, I do it for like 10 to 15 seconds, and then you want to finish it off with the cool setting. So you just hold up, and instead of hot air, it's going to blow cool air to cool down your your hair section and that's what really locks in the style. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair. <laughs> what my hair looks like styled with the Dyson Airwrap using the beach wave method. Personally, I think it's a little bit too poofy, a little bit too much for me right now. However, here in about an hour or two, I think it's going to kind of settle down a little bit um, and look a little bit more natural. I want to also texturize it a little bit because they're kind of just flowing into each other at the moment. And normally I really like using my Wee Spray. I don't know where it went though. So I think I'm gonna use this Mark Anthony Beach Spray. I've I don't know if I've used it before, but hopefully it works out. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it doesn't like ruin my hair. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not bad. Ooh, and it smells really good. I 
I just want to add a little bit of texture to my hair and kind of give it a little bit of a messier look more natural kind of like I didn't try too hard <laughs> overall I would say it still takes a really long time to use the Dyson Air app. If you're used to a metal curling iron, this does take, I wanna say, at least two to three times longer because you have to wait for your hair to dry, which for me, I feel like is a lot of work. I normally don't put that much effort into doing my hair, so this look with the Dyson Air app, personally for me, is something that I probably won't be doing very often. However, from having the Dyson Air app for over a year now, I will say that this is a great tool for touch-ups. So if you do have your hair already curled, this is really, really good for um, you know touch-ups the next day, and it's actually a lot faster. Because once your hair is already curled, this does a really good job of just picking the hair up and just wrapping it around itself. Um, and so in that sense, it's really, really nice, and you don't have to hold it as long. You just need to heat up a little bit, and it'll refreshing those curls and just looks really really nice that is one thing that i love the dyson air app for is next day curls or to bring it back to life i will say though now that my hair is shorter it doesn't take as long to curl my hair using the dyson air app i only hold it for about 10 seconds on hot and then 10 seconds on the cool blast and then it's done before it used to be 15 seconds on hot and then 15 seconds on the cool blast so i save like 10 seconds on each piece. So instead of 45 minutes, I think this took me around half an hour to style. So I don't know, I think that is it. I'm trying to think of any other things I can say about the Dyson Airwrap on shorter hair. Honestly, I'm not used to styling short hair, especially curling short hair, because as you guys know, I wear my hair um, straight most of the time. But I do think it is pretty cute, and I think maybe after like an hour or two, it's going to calm down and going to look a little bit more natural. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you like this type of video, if you want me to make more videos using the Dyson Air Wrap on my shorter hair with the other attachments or anything that you want regarding the Dyson Air Wrap. Please give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it and if you haven't done so already be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification so you can see more videos like this i hope to see you in the next video bye